Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So we want to update our single course page here so that it shows the correct information depending on the current slug over here. So currently, this is what we have on our single page, but I would like the, the accordion here to be present for the course content so that we copy what Udemy looks like. And we do that by copying the content from getbootstrap.com and we went to docs, components, accordion. So I'm just gonna copy the first one here. Of course, you can copy whichever version of this that you want. Let me see here, does it start with... Yeah, it does start with one of them, like this one down here, where is that? where one of them at least is open here. So maybe let's try this. Hopefully the version of Bootstrap is good enough to match with this. Now, if you find that your version of Bootstrap is different, you can just download the new version and sometimes that can break your template. So this is why you are okay to use whatever template is at your disposal. You are not limited to this particular one because the HTML doesn't really matter. It's the PHP that does. So let's try and add our accordion down here. We're gonna go to our course view page here and I want to add the accordion. Let me look at the page content so that I know where to add this. I think I'm gonna replace the second image here with this. Uh... So I'm looking for this word here and everything after that should be replaced. So let me try to find it. And there it is, but it should be at the end, not in the middle. I can't even tell where I am anymore now. Okay, this is not great at all. Let me look for something more concrete. Uh, this very image here, let me just inspect and see what kind of data it has. It's landscape five. So let's find it. Let me just do dash five. Let's see where. So landscape five is right here. So let's end the video. And we want down here. Is it true that it has categories down here as the text? Let's see. It's comments. Why am I seeing? Oh, it's over here, right? Ah, so there's two versions of this. So I want the one that's above. So let me grab this as a copy and paste it in there. So let's find the first one. This is the first one. No, no, no. Let's, uh, let me see. Yeah, this is the one right there. So after this, there's some text and then there's comments, which is true. Okay. So right before this, let me remove that. We don't really need it. Look now, I removed the thing I copied. So I'm gonna copy that stuff and paste it here, the accordion. Let me save this. Let's see how it looks, shall we? Refresh. Okay, so there's a good accordion here going on and it seems to work just fine. But it can open several of these at once. So it really depends on what you want. Um, let me go here and see. Accordion's panel stay open. This is not what I want. What I wanted was... Uh, this, but I wanted just one to be... Just one to be open. Let me go back to here. If I do this... Oh, okay. So all of them can stay open like this, even on Udemy. Okay, so then that's the correct one, I guess. 
uh, we'll have this one here. Great, great. So it has all the information we need. Let me go back and look at what other sections are curious here. I think the rest is just like a description and reviews, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is fine. I think we can do okay with this. Let me close the original. Eh, maybe not yet. All right, so this is good. So at this point now, we put replace the title here. So let's see how that can be done. So the course uh, controller here is what reads from from the database. So in the index here, we expect a slug. Let's do slug. Let's set it to no, just in case it's not available so we don't get an error. Because it's possible someone can remove this and then we'll get an error. But if it's there, we'll use it. So course is the page name. This now becomes part of the data that is sent in the function. So we will have a slug over here. All right, so now that we have a slug, we have the course model, page title, that's all great. We don't need to read all courses at all. Here we can just say where, and let's input our slug. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, maybe, mm -hmm. I should change how I use this though. But no matter, this is fine. Approved should be approved zero. Mm, this shouldn't matter for now, I guess. We just want to see some content. So what I'm gonna do is change this to, we don't even need these guys because we're just getting one result. So instead of using the where, I think we'll use the function first instead of the where, because we just want one record. So insert, update, find all, delete, where, and first. Okay, great. So let's use the first. Here we're gonna check for a particular slug. like so. And then instead of row, we're going to put, <coughs> excuse me, instead of rows, we're going to put one row. So read all courses, read the course. Like that. Okay. So if there was a row, total row count, array splice, we don't need any of this. So I'm just going to go and delete that. Now, we may need this part here, I guess, data trending. Uh, trending, read all courses by trending value. We may need this for this other side here to show popular and trending and all that. So I'm gonna leave that. Rows first, blah. This is the part where we split those arrays, but we don't need that anymore. So I'm gonna do that. And so we have row over here, which is great. So if I come back here, we shouldn't see any errors at all. And that is the case. So with that in mind, let's go to our course view. I'm gonna move this um, thing we just added. So it's part of the system. And then I'm gonna go to, uh, this looks like the title. So right here, I am going to say, so I just put some PHP tags there and let's put title and close that. So of course we need to escape this as always. All right, and also because it's possible that the row does not exist, so we should put an if statement there as well. So I'm just gonna put the whole thing inside an if statement. So I'm gonna do if not empty row like that. All right, and let me go to the bottom here and put an end if. And 
if like that, and I'm gonna duplicate this and put else here. Let's put a div tag here and say that course was not found just in case we have this issue. So let's put a class, let's do text center. Let's go ahead and put some padding like that and that should do. So to see that is if I typed a number at the end because I know that slug does not exist, then we get that course was not found, but that's not very visible. So let's try maybe an H3 tag. I'm not sure how big this will be, but we can change. Okay, that course was not found. Okay, that's great. Now, if I change it back to this one, then it does find the course. So personal fitness, goodie. And then at this point, let's see from the Udemy side of things. There's this short description, right? Let's see what's inside our course. Uh, hmm, there's a description, great. Course image, great. What else do we got? Um, courses metadata. Okay, that's not what we want. All right, so the description on our case, in our case could be quite long so we don't want it right at the top there. So what I'm going to do is... Hmm, let me delete this part here. We don't actually need this just after the title. Let me remove this. And then over here we have our image thingy. So the image here will correspond to the course image. So let's do the get image course. I can simply copy these things from the home page. Where is the home page? Instead of having to type this again. So in the source, this is normally what I would get. So I got that from the source and paste it. Instead of first row is just row. All right, so let's come back and let me refresh. So this is what we've got now. The width of the image is weird. So what I'm gonna do is put a style on this and say max width. Let's put at 90%. Let's see how that changes things. Okay, slightly better. I want these guys a bit closer together. So let's see, there's this margin bottom here of five. Let's change that to one. Okay, so this less space between the two, which is great. All right, so now this means if I go back to my homepage and click on a different course, I should see that image displayed there instead. Okay, great. This seems to be working. And then let's put our description down here as well. So just after the image, this is the description part. So I'll leave it inside a P tag since it will be kind of like a paragraph. So instead I will put escape row description and close that. Okay, that way it's the description that shows instead of this text. So there it is and a description. Let me remove that text just after the, which is here, the figure caption. I'm going to remove that. Don't need it. Okay, so there we go. Very good. But why is the image all the way here? I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, let's see, we have a title here. Maybe I should remove it in the figure thingy. 
and let me change that figure to a div just so I change how it reacts to the CSS much better so now the image is here so those are design issues I guess that looks much better so let's go home again and let's click on a different one let me click on this one okay there we go let's click on this other course over here and there we go okay so it shows our description quite well the title but it doesn't show the um, the category here but we already have this kind of code on the home page where it actually does show that so we can simply go to our home page and copy so let's see where is the there's a first name last name here for the user for each course let's see let's see okay so it's in the category row right so i'm gonna grab that and the whole thing and the date as well get date date okay so i'm gonna copy this go back to the courses view and where are we it's right at the top right here i'm gonna paste that okay category and there's a date there i could just copy as well being lazy is good so back here and let's paste over there boom okay so let's give that a shot let's see if i click do i get health and fitness i do and the actual date all right very very good now in the accordion what kind of data do we have from udemy now here we have the course overview uh, Oh, I see. These are the topics, right? So in our case, where do we get these? If I click on the edit to edit uh, this thing, I think this is where we grab what kind of information do we get here? It's right here on the curriculum itself. So there's a section and some detail. So each section here represents an item on the accordion here, right? That's a section and then some items in there, which is great. They also have a drop down. All right. All right. But what about the money? So here we can put buy now, join course, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So where can we put those? Let me see a second. Okay, so these are design choices. At this point, these are definitely just design choices. So you can do whatever you want. Put things wherever you want. That doesn't matter. Here, I'm just going to put a button here. Buy now or add to cart. Uh, So just before the description here, I'm going to put a div like so. Now using some classes, I'm going to put maybe padding at, I don't know, four. And then let's put some buttons. I'm going to put a button here and say add to cart. And what is the other button? Let's see. Buy now. Mm -hmm. Buy now. Buy now. We'll add to cart. Let me put some classes here. So, of course, it's a button. And but primary. Seems about right. Let's put some margin between each one of the buttons. So let's see here. Oh, there we go. Add to cart. Buy now. Great. I think this padding is a little bit too much. So let's try again. That looks great. Let's also give it... Uh, 
some value here of the price. So row price, is it? Let me see if that's a thing. Okay, so it doesn't know what the price is. I'm also lost here. I think we have a different uh, row for prices. So there's price ID, I'm guessing. Here, let's see. Yeah, there's a price ID. So let's go to prices here. And this is the... Okay, so on the home page, how are we doing this? Let me go back here. Okay, these are free courses, right? For now. So what I want to do is go to my model. Uh, this is the courses model. There's these after select, we're getting, let's say get category, get price. Oh, so all these things are already here. Oh, praise the Lord. Okay. So let me see the get price thing. Where does it store the data? It's inside price row. Okay, so that's good. Let me go back here. So this one should be in the price row. Like this price row and then the price itself. So let me put a dollar sign here as well, just to make sure we are on the right page. In fact, I don't need a space there on the dollar sign. So let me click on this. And there we go. Uh, that's the price for this particular course. So, okay, uh, that makes sense. Add to cart, buy now. This course includes, and then we can write all of this stuff here if we need to. Whatever information, uh, what you will learn, I think we can list these. But for now, this is all looking good. At least we have a price. Uh, we can add, we have these buttons here, a description. Okay, so we need to add more detail here. Uh, what the course will offer just after, maybe before the description, just after this, before description. And then we add this accordion and then we put the description. I think the description should come last. The accordion should come next. So let's go over here and let's just move this baby to go below the accordion. So I'm gonna grab this and select this div so we know where it ends. And let's put our description over here, like so. Okay, so we swap those two, which is great. So just after that, we have our accordion. And what's the title of that section? It's course content, right? Yes. So let's put a title right about there before the accordion itself, course content. After this, so let's do this, H2 maybe, and do course content like that. Okay, so let's check that out. Refresh, great. Now we have course content down here, and then we can list whatever the content is. I think I feel like this should be an H1 tag over here because the price should be quite visible like so. Okay, great. This is cool. Let's go back and check some other one here. Let me click on this one and there we have it. Price is still there. Okay, very good. Accordion and then our description. Nice. All right, so we are doing great. So what I need now is for us to be able to populate this accordion part and the course content as well. Then we can deal with giving access to particular courses. All right, I'll see you in the next video.